Good afternoon, everyone. It's Steve Cal 5 juf Hope everyone's having a good Saturday afternoon and so forth. So I am looking at doing a project, and I haven't spent any money yet or anything, but what I'm looking to do is uh, I've been real interested in these uh, products made by uh, it's SDR. It's a company, SDR Play, and they make some really cool products, and I was particularly interested in the waterfall display. Uh, I think it's called uh, SDR Uno is the actual program. And then, of course, they have these different receivers. Uh, they've got one that's uh, the, low, the lower, less expensive, that has one antenna. And then they have the uh, SDR uh, DX, which is our RSP radio signal processor, is the one I'm looking at. And then they have a RSP Duo, which has some additional features. But this video today, I want to talk about uh, actually installing the uh, the software or actually applying this to my radio because I've had some concerns and there's some things I don't like about this and I just kind of wanted to express what I felt about this product and and how it would interface with the uh, with my FT991A. So what I want to do first is I kind of want to go over the general scope and what we're looking to do here is basically is go ahead and take uh, a product from MFJ which is a uh, sensing transmitter receive switch with an interface cable uh, an SDR um, uh, DX uh, RSP radio signal processor DX model and incorporating this into a scheme where you would actually use this uh, MFJ 1807 transmitting sensor switch so I want to go over um, essentially what this is going to look like. So the desired outcome is I want to be able to have uh, SDR Uno on my laptop also, and I also want to have Win4 Yesu Suite running at the same time. So the ideal here is to be able to watch the waterfall display here and then also do all the cat controls in through the 991A. So this is what I want, or this is what I'm looking at doing, but there's some challenges to get here, and there's some things that you, you kind of are going to have to overcome because some of this seems kind of risky to me, and I just wanted to document everything and just see what else, uh, what other people thought. So essentially, your receive would be uh, through the SDR Play or DX. Um, that this, this is what you'll be receiving or listening to because this is literally a, a, a receiver, full-in receiver uh, device here. So you would not even be listening to your 991A. Uh, you would be scanning pretty much uh, listening here. And then, of course, the 991A's, 991A purpose would be for transmitting. But there's some dangers. So if you were to connect the uh, SDR play directly to your antenna, and you also had your uh, FT99 way directly connected to your antenna, guess what? The moment you transmit, you're going to de probably destroy the uh, the uh, the RSP uh, XDX device because you're going to be jamming 100 watts straight at straight down its throat. So that's going to be pretty painful. <laughs> so. But they make a device. Um, it's this transmitting switch device. And what this does is this enables you to use your antenna uh, for a dual purpose. Essentially, you can listen uh, through your SDR receive and you can transmit uh, by isolating the SRD receive. So I'll show you how this works. So in this particular drawing here, what we're looking at is we've got the relay. It's shown essentially in fail safe. So what happens is, uh, is when this when this actually is receiving, the relay contact is energized and it is made to the normally open, which is now a normally closed contact because the energize the relay is actually energized. the uh, The contacts here you see are what they call shelf state. So at this time when the uh, this device is powered up, this MFJ device, you would actually be receiving. So then what happens is when you go to transmit, what happens is this relay in this uh, transmit switching device will actually de-energize and it will take the receive signal from the SDR RSP straight to ground and then of course your transmit will go to that uh, one, one pole on the relay that is not connected to anything. So essentially this is what it would look like here is you would be transmitting and the relay would de-energize taking the SDR receive straight to ground essentially protecting it from your RF energy 
and of course your RF uh, power would then go directly to the antenna. So this is what this would look like to get this get this to where we want to be. Essentially, the research I've done is the FT991A does have a uh, special what they call transmit to ground key or an output, which you can actually purchase a cable from DX Engineering, which will plug straight into this uh, RF sensing transmitter receive switch. So essentially the FT991A can send a signal, basically like a, a, a short to ground, which would complete the circuit on the F MFJ, which would change the relay state and essentially protecting the uh, SDR-DX or RSP-DX from getting any RF into the radio. So this is essentially, this is what you would have here, is you would plug it in right here to this pin, and of course this is a cable. You can buy these made up. The our DX Engineering was about 35 bucks. You can also get them on uh, eBay too, so just FYI. So essentially this is what's going to happen, is when the radio is in receive and not transmitting, uh, the actual antenna connection will be going two places. It will be going to the uh, HF radio uh, receive on your FT991A, and then it also through the relay, which is now energized, it's going to go to the SDR receive input. So you can essentially listen to either your 991A uh, receive or you can listen to the SDR receive which also gives you the added uh, waterfall effect where you have the SDR uno so basically you've got two things listening here but the S uh, the, the SRD or the RSP is going to be actually controlling your waterfall through SDR uno so when the radio transmits what happens next is this will actually uh, send the control signal which is right here this is the control signal this control signal will go right here into this MFJ, and then what happens is the MFJ will de-energize this relay, putting it into a shelf-safe position. And guess what? Now the uh, RF is going to this portion of the contact, which is not connected to anything. So basically the 100 watts stops here. Now, of course, then when it, that happens is the uh, transmit will go out onto the antenna. So the question is, is switching 100 watts, uh, essentially you're, you're not actually switching it through the contact. The 100 watts is essentially going to a normally open contact, which really doesn't go anywhere. So from an arcing standpoint, I don't know if the relay contacts are really going to be a problem, but I did have concerns because these are micro relays. So that was my only concern here. And again, you can see this is uh, some of the concerns I had here was just with this arcing from these contacts. But I'm not sure. I don't know. I might be willing to try it. But like I said, I'm, I'm still kind of on the fence on it. So here's how the, uh, there's a second way that this device actually works. And it uses what's called an RF sensing activation switch. So instead of taking the uh, trans key to transmit signal from your FT991A, what happens here is there's a set of sensing coils. And as long as there's no RF detected on this line here, the relay will stay energized. But once the sensor detects RF, it will then drop out the relay and take it to ground. This one here, I do not like this because you are, for a moment, you are pushing 100 watts down that line, and it's. I, I think it's going to be pretty risky because that's that. There's going to be some some time for this whole process here to go from an energized state to a de-energized state, and I, I think that's kind of risky. So I, I don't like this aspect of the uh, of the features. I would much rather have the uh, FT991A controlling this function uh, so it's independent of any uh, sensing devices in here so but again I don't particularly like this sensing device so I don't think I'm going to do this so just a real close-up these are some of the connections this is the actual connection that you use from your FT991A the tune LIN is where you actually connect in the back of the radio and then of course this uh, RCA connector will go to the uh, MFJ d device. There's the MFJ device right there. I got 635, I got the links here too. I'll put these all in the video. This is the actual RSPDX. 
some of the software. There are some drivers you'll have to download to get some of this to work. Uh, RFJ did make a change on the unit. Uh, some of the earlier videos I saw that only had one relay. It looks like the newer ones now actually have four relays. They're labeled K1 through K4, so there there have been some changes. Haven't dug in. I don't have one, but uh, there there's some things that are different. They do have some jumpers here, and uh, I can sort out these later. Like I said, I haven't done anything with this other than just research. This is the actual schematic. You've got your power coming in here. Uh, roughly that's 12 volts. And I think right here's your control circuit. Now this gets taken to ground. And I think when this gets taken to ground, I think these relays will drop out. Or these relays will actually energize. Uh, and then, of course, when you transmit, uh, they're going to drop out. So I don't have this circuit fully understood. Uh, but there's your power input here, J1, and this is what's called your control function here. This is the signal that actually goes to ground on transmit. So I guess I had a couple of questions. Uh, it does allow easy access on the waterfall. The RSP is a very high quality. SDR UNO is free and good support. Uh, I guess one of the questions I had was what long-term damage could happen on the FT9991A with the duty cycle of the micro relay? So I don't know. Second question I had is if failure mode occurred where the FT991 did transmit 100 watts directly into the RSPDX, uh, could this uh, damage my FT9981A because instead of being a 50 ohm load, it's now going into this electronic circuit, which I'm assuming would probably just destroy itself, probably go to a direct short. And then of course that would disable the transmit on my radio, but that was a concern I had because I don't want to damage uh, you know, $1,200 radio on a $100 transmit switch. So it was just something I was kind of thinking about. I guess the question I had was, can the SDR Uno change frequency on my FT991A uh, VFO, for example? If I move the SDR Uno VFO, uh, will the 991A follow or do the VFOs operate independently? So that was the other question I had. So uh, overall, uh, like I said, this is just something I wanted to get up on the air because I'm looking at this. Uh, like I said, the overall, what I really want to see is this. This is the goal here. I want to have Win Yesu uh, 4 or uh, Yesu uh, Win 4 Suite. And I want to have SDR Uno on the same screen where I can actually control it and safely, safely transmit with this device here where it will actually control this uh, safety relay inside of this device here so that when I do transmit, I've dropped that 100 watts down to going nowhere within the unit and the receive on the SDR goes to ground, which I'm sure you're still going to see your, 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 your transmit on the receive uh, on this device. However, um, it's just going to, it's going to be probably a very, very small signal. So anyway, I just want to go over this. Um, it's just a, just an idea. I haven't done anything with it. I've watched a lot of videos, done some research on it. It doesn't seem like a bad idea, but uh, I was just curious, and I thought I'd put this up. So, anyway, uh, that's what I work. That's what I'm working on today. I got some other stuff I'm going to work on too. But uh, like I said, I just want to get this up, and hopefully, uh, hopefully, I'll get some feedback on it. If you guys have done this before, let me know what your gut feeling is. Is it worth it uh, to have that nice, beautiful waterfall, or is it something that we should just kind of go, hmm, it's not worth the risk? So. Anyway, that's it from me, uh, Steve KI5JUF. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I appreciate everybody, and uh, y'all have a good day.